Hello one and all, today I will be bringing you the tattoo and piercings tag. A simple few questions just so you can get to know me a little bit better. So here we go. Number one, how many tattoos do you have? One here, two, count that as one, three, four, five and six, we'll count that as one, seven, now I've got one on my side, eight, and one up here which is nine, I'm pretty sure that's it. So technically seven with two sleeves. Number two, what is your favorite tattoo? Probably currently my leg because it's the one that I'm working on at the moment the most and it's the one that just I keep adding to and it, it's gonna look amazing when it's finished but it may never ever get finished so we'll see about that. Number three, how old were you when you got your first tattoo? I was in my early 20s I think. Sometime in the early 20s I guess. Number four, what do your parents think of your tattoos? My dad was dead set against them. The first time he ever saw my first tattoo, which is this one here, he was not impressed. We were going away on holiday and he saw it and fortunately his friend at the time managed to defuse the situation and my dad just kept quiet and ever since then he's kind of given up and saying anything about them because I know he doesn't like them and he knows that I know he doesn't like them. He did, however, say the other day that he was thankful that this was not a Microsoft logo. Number five, do your tattoos have a theme? Most of them correspond to times in life that I would like to remember and like my leg, video games that I used to play, my arm, cartoons that I used to watch. But some of them are just aesthetically pleasing, like the, like the, pretty much this leg actually. The fairy and Eeyore and Lisa Simpson. Number six, or number six. No, it'd be that way, wouldn't it? Do you plan on getting any more tattoos? Well, yes, because I've not yet completed my leg and my arm has a, a little bit more to go as well. I don't think I'll ever finish fully getting my tattoos. Number seven, which tattoo hurt the most? I think the one that hurt the most was probably Doug's head right here, because it's on the inner elbow and that hurt a lot. Although the outer elbow hurt quite a lot as well, but I definitely had a few horrible healing bits with him as well because of the crease that he's on. Don't know if you can see, there's a little bit of a mark there that's missing. So I had a little bit of problem, but that was definitely the most painful place thus far. Number eight, which tattoo hurt the least? Well, pretty much all of them. None of them really hurt all that much. We'll go with the Lisa one on my leg because that's kind of a, a generic place to get a tattoo and it didn't hurt very much at all. Number nine, do you regret any of your tattoos? No. Definitely not. Next. Number 10. What were the length of your tattoos? Most of mine were a good couple of hours, two to three hours maybe. Talking about my leg and my arm. I think I've had about three day sessions on my leg, maybe four. And they were seven and a half hour day sessions. How many piercings do you have? Okay, I've probably counted these before, but it's been a while. One, one. Oh no. One, two, three. Scaffold count as one or two? Count as one. Four. I'll count that as one. There's five. There's a tunnel there, but I haven't got anything in it. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. I won't count my tongue, although I can get jewellery in it. There's nothing in it at the moment. Wait. What number was I on? Right. Twenty-two. I've got my belly button and my apodragus. 13. Which one hurt the most? Well, the one that I've had that hurt the most was probably my nipple. That was probably the most painful piercing. 13. Which piercing is your favourite? Uh, I'm gonna have to go with cheeks. Yeah, my cheeks are probably my favourite. When the jewellery doesn't come off, which isn't very often, but when it does, it's so difficult to put back in. And the last question is, do you regret any of your piercings? No, the piercings are easy to take out, so, you know, you don't have to keep them. Apart from when this happens and you get a tear. Then again, I'm not really that disappointed that that happened because this kind of stuff happens and it's made my ear more unique. Plus my long hair, you can't see it anyway. Cool, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've learned a little bit more about me. If you've got any other questions, then please write them down below or contact me on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. All the links are down here somewhere. If you ask any questions, then I'll answer them in a future video. Thanks guys, bye.